And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future for our next deck, which is going to be Naya Legends. This deck looks kind of crazy, and you may think that this is just kind of a, a silly deck. Um, some people call them meme decks or whatever. Um, I don't really care for that word, but anyway. Uh, I honestly like this deck quite a bit, and I think that this deck has a lot of potential. Beating Sultai is a really difficult proposition for mid-range decks. That's like the bar that you're trying to uh, look towards. Um, and uh, I think that this deck may have like some tools. Like the biggest thing, like one of the one of the very best cards in the entire format um, against Sultai is Urza's Ruinous Blast. Like maybe the best card in the whole format. Uh, just exiles all their creatures. Uh, like none of their creatures are legendary, so it exiles all of them. So they're exiled. They don't go to the graveyard um, to be able to get back later or anything like that. And so this deck's able to play two. I got I got two in the main and two more in the sideboard. Um, so that's that's pretty key. So you know, like we're playing like all these legendary creatures and planeswalkers and stuff, and the opponent is you know worrying about those, and you know maybe the battlefield kind of gets to a little bit of stall. So then they play like a lot some more creatures, and then boom, Urza's Ruinous Blast. Um, so that's that's our our thing here. I remember the last time we played this deck. We struggled against Esper Control. We went 0-2 against Esper Control, and we, we beat everything else. So to, to help out that matchup, um, I had I had Rhythm of the Wild in the sideboard, but it just wasn't good enough, and you know they were just they just mortified it. So we're putting in Spyglasses instead of those because Spyglass can shut down Teferi and shut down Ascanta, and they don't get to mortify it. So I, I honestly really like Spyglass against Esper Control um, because it dodges mortify, dodges almost all their removal. Uh, so yeah, I like Spyglass just shutting down Teferi. And then I'm also going to try a couple Carnage Tyrants um, as well, <clears throat> which we did not have last time. So hopefully that helps out a little bit. Um, against Reclamation decks, uh, I don't know. We may not be the best, but Blast is pretty good against those those decks. You know, you get to exile all the enchantments and everything. Does not take out Search Risk Kanta. Um, but then I have like the Knight of Autumns in the sideboard also. Uh I don't think I've faced a, 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 a Wilderness Reclamation deck with this, but we're probably not so good. So. Okay. Let's go ahead and try it out, though. But I, I think like I think those are going to be the the, diff, the most difficult matchups are, um, yeah, Wilderness Reclamation decks and Control decks. Um, I think those are probably the, the tough ones for us. I think we're going to be really good against aggro. We have, you know, a lot of angels and Tristanis and, and you know, they're good blockers and stuff. I think we're going to be good against the aggro decks. Um, at least traditionally we have. I did have an extra Lyra, a third Lyra, and a third Tristani in the sideboard that I always had. And those are the two cards I cut for the two Carnage Tyrants. So we're going to be a little worse there. Um against the the aggro decks a little bit worse but they're they're still like the five mana cards and we have a good amount of them also well speaking of being a little worse against aggro decks here's a mono red deck it looks like with a strong start being on the play and one drop two drop By the way, we do have we do have a combination that just instantly defeats the opponent. If we have Tajik and Shalai on the battlefield at the same time, it's really hard to do because if you know, it's it's hard to get done. But Tajik prevents all the combat damage to to the other creature, so prevent, prevents all the damage to Shalai, and Shalai prevents you or any of your other creatures from being targeted. So you can't target. Uh, You can't target the other thing, so it's a pretty good combo. Let's see, two, four, five. So if I if I play Captain Lannery Storm and attack, we are taking five, going down to six. 
but then I get to play Lyra next turn. And I'm, so I'm doing this so I can play Lyra next turn. Because it's kind of likely that they have like a burn spell that kills Captain Lannery Storm or whatever anyway. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just, I just can't take this. I have to decline. Tajik and a white weenie deck. Um, I mean, I don't hate it. I think I like Tajik as a card. They have two spells. They do. Alright, hopefully Lyra can survive. Uh, with our opponent having four cards, you know, if they're if they have like enough burn spells to kill Lyra, they can just kill us, so. I guess all they need is like any you know, basically anything. Yeah. Turn four Lyra, but we're already dead. That was an awesome hand for the opponent. Awesome hand. Alright, so we got an extra Shalai, got all these Deafening Clarions, Knight of Autumns. So that's the thing, is I already had a, a good amount of sideboard cards anyway for this matchup. All right, so blast come out. So even though I took out a Tristani and a Lyra, I still have a good amount of sideboard cards. Weatherlight. Um, I don't really like Squee because a Chain Whirler, Firebrand. Uh, don't love Karn or Vivian. That's sixty. We we'll play some Coils. Don't really love Shauna either. So play Coil over Shauna. Do I want the Squee over a Vivian? No, I'll keep Vivian. Vivian can find other creatures and everything. You would cut Kamal's Juridic Vow. I could see that. Kamal's is just going to be like a... You know, it's a 6-7 mana card. Hey, J-Knight. Yeah, we went turn 2, 1-1, one, one, turn 3, 2-2, two, two, turn 4, Lyra, and we were dead. That's a good hand. All right, deck, draw some lands. I think we're playing 26 lands, right? Yeah, we're playing 26 lands. So I like having this Deafening Clarion in July. I feel like these are some good cards. All right. We know we could get to play Clarion next turn, so let's just get another tap land in into play. I'm just going to be coiling here and saving Clarion. Because Clarion can, you know, give our creature lifelink, which is also very important. You immediately cut two lands? No, don't, don't cut lands. Lands are good. They don't have coil. Man, they have coil too. Our opponent just had everything. Had a really good hand. Yeah, sure. Man.
We did go to drawing lands. Ugh. I will fight with honor. Awaken! No, our, our opponent didn't miss three damage. My retribution will be swift. Defeat. Sometimes, I mean, red decks, hands like that, gotta give it to him. Tough to beat. Yeah, and they even had the, even having the lava coil for the Shalai, just kinda had everything. All right, I like this hand. Are you talking about Rakdos Burn Satis that we just got done playing? Is that what you're talking about? Okay, okay, yeah, okay, a legend deck with black. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, we have, um, I have a Grixis, uh, Grixis Legends deck. Um, yeah, they had, they had four Yogmoss, uh, Yogmoss Vile offerings. So I don't want it, like my creatures to get um I don't want my creatures to get countered and so I want to keep the pressure on the opponent here. And so we'll just play Yeah, against mono blue. Um you know, just racing them. You know, basically with us having this pressure, we're forced we're gonna force them to tap out at some point. There you go, they tap out for that Tempest Gin, and now we get to resolve Lyra Dawnbringer. And Lyra Dawnbringer is basically unbeatable. So there we go. Could have played Aurelia and given the Amara plus two and attacked for four, but Lyra is the one to do. Yeah, so there's a yeah, there's a Grixis Legends deck. It's still in the stream decker. It would be um you know, you'd have to scroll down quite a bit for it. Uh control F may to may help you out there to help find it. Um so we go Coil, Clarion, Shalai. Um We I mean, if Blast resolves, it's very good. Rada, Tristani. A Vivian.
Yeah, no problems. You found it. That's good. Hmm. This hand uh, is kind of rough. With just the double tap land. Pretty rough. I'm gonna say our hand is it's difficult to beat uh curious obsession one drop curious obsession with this hand. But it's difficult to beat that with every with any hand, to be honest. have the the really fast mana here so if we start drawing some creatures um, get to play them and we can you know potentially start double spelling with the help of Captain Lannery Storm as well Love it. Love it. Good job, Captain Lannery Storm. Ooh. All right, now we have a chance. We didn't have a chance a little bit ago. Now we have a chance. And I think my plan here is to cast Karn, because it doesn't get spell pierced. I think we, you know, we have enough mana that we don't need to allow a spell pierce to really do anything. I'm not attacking with I'm the land worlds <laughs> either, um, because of Trickster. You know, certainly need the land. So land worlds are just kind of chilling here. But if our opponent only has just this one one, that doesn't doesn't kill us very quickly. All right, that kills us a little quicker. Um. Nothing is ever truly lost. Hey, we got a new sub, Hawkeye. 12 Evo. Thank you so much for that support, Evo. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, and I really do appreciate that. That's sub number 10 on the day. Thanks, Evo. Hmm. Well, I guess this is kind of it. We'll just see if they have... And that gets us down to 121 now. See if they have a counterspell. For Urza's Ruinous Blast. No counterspell? 
Yes. You know, they could have spell pierce or yes maybe they had spell pierce or dive down you know i bet like those are their cards in hand like spell pierce dive down um because we never saw those and how they had the turn one obsession all right one and one Nia Legends, next big thing. Yeah, I like this deck. Um, I think we would we'd beat a red deck most of the time also, but you know, it just didn't happen the first the first game. Alright, what do we got here? We got a mulligan. Opponent's also going down to six. That's the keep though. I don't have a second white source, so I'm not gonna keep not gonna keep a spell I can't cast. Um Alright, we just played a Rectus Burn. the Rakdos Burn video up on YouTube. Block. Well, our hand is good against aggro. The Aurelia gives Shauna um, vigilance since it's a white creature. This Shauna is going to be so big this next turn. I mean, I could just play Lyra and give the Aurelia lifelink. Nah. Let's play Tristani. Sonny's really good. No second white for Lyra. Good call. It's a little harder to play Lyra without a second white source. Hmm. So, same sideboarding as always. Seems like. Um, Coil Clarion Shalai. Um, this, our opponent looks like a creature deck. I bet Blast is going to be really good against our opponent, honestly. I'm going to kind of go down on creatures. With, with bringing in these sweepers. Mm, maybe not the Shauna's. Weatherlight, Karn, Vivian... This is 60. So many 5 drops. But our opponent does look like a slower creature deck. And I think we're going to be fine. With that many 5s. Alright. Rectus burn. This one I'm playing a 26 land deck. We want to hit our first five land drops like every game. And so it makes it easier to keep two landers on the draw also when, when we know we have so many lands in our deck. How does Huatli fit into the deck? I guess I'm just going to wait a turn and, cl and Clarion. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, she's legendary. She can make, like, some 3-3s three against, like, removal-heavy decks. You can just sit back and make 3-3s. Three but she also gains life. 
uh, against these aggro decks. He does a good job gaining life. Um, well, Tajik's really annoying. Because, you know, Tajik prevents the damage from deafening Clarion to the other things. So I'm hoping to draw another land here so we could, you know, be able to go Clarion and then land War Elf. But we didn't. Hopefully they're kind of out of stuff. Not quite out of stuff. All right, land. Um, yeah, shall I? And this one's over. Good old Deafening Clarion. Shalai Lyra Curve. That's a good 3, 4, 5 curve. Even though it was on turns 4, 5, and 6, still kind of too good. Alright, and Watley time. We'll just tick up, gain 5 life. Is your strength. Um, I think we can just kind of sit back. Their strength is your strength. Man, remember when we were like almost dead and now we're at 26? We can make like all their creatures not block. Like Wally can just like make all these things not be able to block. Pretty cool. Chance for glory. I haven't I haven't seen that card like played. Alright, can you kill me opponent? Don't think you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So close. Good thing we gained all that life. And then, because of Chance for Glory, they die. But then also Shalai and Lyra killing them, too. Ugh. See, Sir Williams, you're saying that we have nine lifelink just attack. If we would have just attacked that turn with Huatli, we may have died to Chance for Glory and Heroic Reinforcements. We may have actually just died if we would have attacked the first time. Yeah, like we actually, yeah, I didn't know they played that either, but I, I think we would have died. We would have attacked. Because, you know, we were at, I don't know, I think we were at like nine. Play first. Okay. Okay, definitely a really slow hand, but we're on the play. On the draw, I'd be pretty nervous about this. But, you know, on the play, we have, like, our first three draw steps. Hopefully one of those things is something we can play on turn four. Maybe our first two draw steps, we'll get something to play on turn three. Who knows? Oh, yeah, Cur casting Urza's Ruinous Blast is really fun. Yeah, this card is real nice. Yeah, all we have to do is like play Huatli, have our opponent not kill Huatli, and then we untap and Urza's Ruinous Blast, and then the game ends. Okay, well, 
we haven't drawn anything to do yet. Get in here. There you go. I know that thing gets swept up by Urza's Ruinous Blast also, but I, I want another blocker for Huatli. So, like, next turn we can play, like, Huatli, um, make a dino, and then we can we can have, like, two chump blockers for Huatli, and then we can blast the next turn. And then the following turn we Druidic Vow. We can't block that thing. Do you think there's a chance they don't kill Huatli? It's probably not a very good chance. My allies are Come, closer than you think. Sing the song of fame. Maybe they won't attack Huatli. This is not what was written. They didn't. Alright, if we just draw a two mana... Alright, we need a two mana legend. We got our four two mana legends. We need to draw any of them. Any two mana legend. Amara. Shauna. We need to draw one of those. Shalai. Okay. Okay. Police the legend. And it blocks Thief of Sanity. Which is critical. So as long as they don't have removal in hand. Just no removal spells. You know. Good. That's not a removal spell. Good for us. I have faced worse than the likes of you. I have faced worse. The choices we make reveal uh, cast down. who we are. No contempt for you. Oh, come on. Don't be looking at that Shalai like that. No contempt. No contempt, please. Okay, that's good. It's not a contempt. Keep it. Tilt. Keep that one. Tilt. This is actually kind of a hard choice, honestly. If I want to blast or shall I? Honestly. So, because if I if I just blast here, we have nothing but shall I and they have nothing but Karn. But their Karn, but then we attack Karn for three, and then their their Karn gets back Contempt and Contempts the Shalai, and then I don't have, then I don't really have anything. But I guess they have nothing on the battlefield. If I Druidic Vow, we get to Vow for one, two, three, four, five, six. We get to Vow for six, which is a pretty big Vow. No, Blast, I guess, is probably best. Blast does not get rid of Karn, remember. So do we... If I Blast, we exile all of these things. Yeah, let's just Blast. Takes our land war off too. Yeah, Val for six, honestly, may be a better play. 
So we'll just exile their whole board. Besides Karn. Attack the Karn. Because we're going to take up their next turn to Contempt. So their next turn they Contempt. And then we stop. play Aurelia. And then we'll see what they do after that. Your patience is rewarded. Ooh, Lannery Storm. Nice. You can just take this Karn out. And that treasure is really good. I will be better prepared um, next time. For Druidic Vow, of course. <laughs> yeah. Our opponent keeps on looking at their stuff with the cast down. Like, they're like, can I cast down this? No. Can I cast down that? No. Nope. Can't cast it down that one. Cast down is a, a popular removal spell in these Sultai decks, and we are kind of cast down proof. Uh, it just kills, like, land war elves and some tokens we can make. Alright, so they they did explore both of those wild growth walkers to the over there. Alright, so now we get to vow for one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm gonna do vow for seven. Yeah, let's let's just go to combat first. Vow for seven, make another treasure. This card is awesome. If you haven't seen this card played before, get ready for this. We'll get this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. See our top seven cards? They all go on the battlefield. And I'm just going to do enters tapped because we had three lands. It's a pretty good turn. <laughs> Immediate concession. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, Urza's Ruinous Blast and Kamal's Druidic Vow, but especially Urza's Ruinous Blast. We saw it just exile all of their stuff, their Thief of Sanity, and all their Explorer creatures, their Mana creatures, Krasis, all of that. Exile everything. Yeah, there's not like any like super cool animation. Hey, let me actually cancel this. This is laggy. Let me let me do a little reset here if I can. Cancel. Please let me cancel. Uh, yeah, I need to, to... Yeah, this is getting too laggy. I need to do a reset. It's, even, it's just gotten worse. It's like punishing me. Just deciding to be much worse. <laughs> More like druidic. Wow. Uh, it's it's because the longer the longer you have arena on the more it lags and so you know we've been streaming for six and a half hours now and I haven't I haven't reset the client I really need to reset every like three four hours something like memory leak I think is like the term that people the people in chat that know things about computers more than I do they say that's that's like the thing. Of that later. Gilgates can certainly go way over the top of us. <clears throat> the gates deck. So 
So we're looking for, of course, our, our two big spells, uh, Druidic Vow versus Ruinous Blast. So yeah, I could have minus one for Lyra. I don't, I don't know if Lyra is is that impactful overall. I like Weatherlight more. Nothing I do want to go get Weatherlight. Lost. The thing is with their sweepers, I don't want to just like you know put a lot of creatures um, that die to like Gates of Blaze. And stuff like that. I like how Weatherlight uh, does not die to Sweeper. Yeah, after that Druidic Vow last game, opponent was like, boy, that escalated quickly. What you want to do, opponent? What you want to do? So, uh, the le those legendary sorceries, like Druidic Vow and um, Urza's Ruinous Blast, those are legendaries. So, like, Weatherlight does get to help find those. That's a wonderful turn for the opponent. Double circuitous route. That is awesome. Yeah, I could be an anchor man. I could do that. That's the card I'm talking about. Alright, so let's see. We get to right now vow for uh, five. And is that worth it? Or, like, I mean, I, I can't just keep holding on to. Vow and wait until later because, like, they probably just have a sweeper, right? Nah, I still, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, we got two Captain Lannery storms, they, they go to the graveyard anyway, so might as well put them both in play. about to get interesting. All right, so this can make a 3-3. Three, three. Go and feast on their flesh. The choices we make reveal who we are. And then that 3-3 three, three can crew the weather light. See? Good deck building there. 9, 10, 11. I can sack the treasure if I just want to do one damage. Nah, we don't need to. Weatherlight is still lethal next turn. Um, let's get a really uh, something that can pump up, um, pump up Weatherlight's power immediately. I guess Aurelia cannot crew Weatherlight, but we can have Kuatli make another three three. <laughs> Dinosaur is driving a boat. Yeah, so there's Gates of Blaze. And we still have seven cards in hand. Uh, Archway Angel. That was the card I was hoping they didn't have. How much life you gain in? Going to 24? That's a little much. It's a little unnecessary, don't you think, opponent? A curious choice. The song of fame. Attack. All right. 
Clear this gate to blaze in again. I can do this all day until I mill out. Why is mass manipulation a card? Their strength is your strength. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. We got we're like our opponent messed that up. Our opponent should have taken Karn and Huatli because <clears throat> these these angels are not a good, not very good to get. What was lost? Because we have Tristani with Karn. Like they, they needed to take the Karn there. We'll just get those back. Um, I don't get to attack for this turn, though. And I don't need to play Shauna. I mean, I guess I could play Shauna. Kind of force them to have... Wait. Does sh maybe we kill them really quickly with Shauna, maybe? Hmm. Well, they'll probably have another sweeper. Yep, they had another sweeper. Good call on no Shauna there. Ugh. Just have infinite life. They haven't activated Hua They did not activate Huatli at all. Yeah, they did not activate the Huali. Time has come. Yeah, I can I can minus two Karn and make a Karn, uh, Karn struck that can already crew crew the boat. Alright, well this is going to get exiled by Urza's Ruinous Blast, so let's just get that out of here. Blast, exile that thing. Um, I guess I should take up first and give them an easier way to mess up. So I want this crude here. And I'm gonna kill Huatli. Hit them for four. Add some mana to my mana pool. I love watching your stream, and you're a very relaxed player, but I wish you would challenge yourself by playing some ranked constructed. You obviously have the skills, and I think it'd be entertaining to watch you climb ladder. Um, one thing that I, like, with with the ranked ladder and everything, I would want to be playing, like, the same deck over and over again, and I, I don't think that that makes for a very good stream. Um, the, 
This isn't the best time to Druidic Vow. Because our opponent probably has another sweeper. No, honestly, let's let's go ahead and do it. Because uh, we can hit Tajik or Vivian. I think Tajik or Vivian. Hey, both. I think those are certainly worth it. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. The wilds are my shield. I do need to, like, not mill out. I'm gonna actually decline. I'm not even gonna take one of those lands. We have we have plenty of lands. Our opponent's at 61, remember, so I'm gonna just decline. But I'm just trying to, to get to uh, Vivian Ultimate here. Six. So there's one other Urza's Ruinous Blast right now in the deck. Do I need to just kill this Krasis? I guess I probably do. Uh, so much for <laughs> get that out of here. Getting the ultimate. Decisive action is needed. Oh, I I need to crew the weather light first. Whoops. Yeah, I should have crewed Weatherlight first. Whoops. Missed a point there. Uh, attack these. Attack with Shauna also. Ha. I thought I was, our opponent was going to block there. We have to activate Shalai again. And make that nine power. I'll take the Tristani in case of a mass manipulation. Yeah, only 54 to go. The good news is Gates of, you know, Gates of Blaze is their sweeper, and with Tajik in play, we don't have to worry about Gates of Blaze. So, like, we're pretty good to go there. Maybe I should have taken Vivian there, so I could Vivian minus again on, like, another... Like, if they played another big crisis or something, I could Vivian minus and then have a new Vivian. I don't... I don't think our opponent has an out now that they don't have mass manipulation. We like, because I'm I'm feeling like we're gonna kill our opponent next turn. I kind of feel like we are. Right, Archway Angel. Because we get to activate Shalai three times. Okay, should have should have grabbed other Vivian. Other Vivian could have minus minus. Wait, where's Ruinous Blast? We still haven't seen that yet. How convenient. An excellent choice. Where is the other Urza's Ruinous Blast?
Oh, I didn't minus Vivian. If I wanted to do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I could have minus Vivian in. Got rid of one of these things. All right, we know the bottom five cards of our library are no Urza's Ruinous Blast. Oh, I still didn't even activate Vivian there. Just never, never activating Vivian. So they need, okay, so they're, they're going for double, they're going for double, uh, whatever it's called right now. The, the three mana card, Gates of Blaze. They're trying to double Gates of Blaze. Yeah, they're trying to double Gates of Blaze. Which, that's a problem. Yeah, but I could have even, like, Vivian killed a, a guild summit. No, so, like, we're kind of milling them out. They're down to 10 cards. The Colossuses are what I want to exile. That's not going to do it. One Gates of Blaze doesn't do it. Yeah, they had enough mana until they cast the the draw a card, play a land spell. Yeah, they're not. Yep, Karn was gonna go get a new Tajik. Now, <laughs> what'd you walk into? Naya Legends, baby. Yeah, Gross Spiral that card. Do you think our opponent knew that Tajik was gonna? Do that. Is there any reason why Gates deck don't run Helm of the Host? Because it, it it's not very good. It costs a whole lot of mana. And Um, it's not going to be helpful in games that you're losing. Like, there's, I can't really imagine, like, they're like, yeah, like a lot, most of the games that you lose with the gates, Helm of the Host won't do anything, basically. How does Tajik do that, by the way? Uh, the, the third sentence on Tajik, prevent all non-combat damage that be dealt to other creatures you control. So, the Gates of Blaze is non-combat damage, you know, it's dealing damage, and that's not during combat, so Tajik prevents it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so go blast, blast. Um, bring in some knights to destroy guild summits. Shalai was kind of cool there. Shalai's good against mass manipulation too. So if we bring in these sixty-six, what am I cutting? If we bring in these six. Um, all of our cards are kind of good, honestly. 
There's nothing that's really that bad. Maybe I don't need all of these blasts. Maybe like three blast. Um. Maybe. Do you like how squee we can keep playing it through Gates of Blaze, but maybe we just need one squee. Maybe we don't need any squee. Yeah, they just go way over the top of a 2-1 like that. We're down to two Knight of Autumn. One Lyra. One Aurelia. Uh, one Rada. Maybe zero Lyra. One Lyra. Well, our, our opponent gained close to a hundred life throughout the whole game. Kind of shows you the value of life gain. Definitely should have just played Temple Garden here, but oh well. I don't think that's going to be something that matters too much. Nope. I uh, can't wait till this game's over and I get to restart the client. I like, I really hope, that's like, I really want to win this game and not go to game three because I want to restart this client. Opponents on the RAM strategy. Ram strat could certainly beat me. Maybe I need to... I'm, I'm glad I have at least one other Lyra in here. Like, I'm glad I have at least one Lyra in here. Hmm. Just kind of gain some life. So would I rather activate Shalai or play Aurelia plus Amara? I guess Aurelia plus Amara. Wait, if I go Aurelia plus Amara, I can't block the Gate Colossus. Besides with Shalai. Or I guess Aurelia can. So I guess we're activating Shalai. So they have a 7-7 seven, seven and an 8-8. Eight, eight. I can handle that. All right, how do I want to handle that? So we can have five and that, block that, and then three. Oh my God, I have to. I guess I had to activate, oh, you're right, I have to activate before blockers. Crap, but I wanted to block the Llanowar Elf. Crap. Alright, so we're just blocking this thing. I 
That's fine. Um, is our opponent dead? They're at 15. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ugh. 14 damage? Come on. And they're at 15? Hmm. Am I miscounting this somewhere? Yeah, I'm counting like sacking the treasure. Like this is four. This is four power, so that's four uh, plus ten is fourteen. Yeah, counting the treasure pop. That's fourteen. So I'm going to. So I, I'm not going to play into. I'm not going to play into a sweeper. Let's tear this place up. Sometimes restoration um, means retribution. By playing that out. So I'm just going to attack here. I'm just going to kill that thing, attack here. Uh, and then next turn, like, if they play, like, a sweeper, I can still, put, like, Landry Storm can deal... Ooh, yeah, it can deal five next turn with Landry Storm and Aurelia if, if Vivian finds a land. That's perfect. Love that. Love that. That should be able to... That should mean that our opponent kind of has no outs now, because they, they need Gates of Blaze here. And then if they Gates of Blaze, we have Lethal with Aurelia and Captain Lannery Storm, as long as either our draw step or one of the top four cards of our library is a land. Oh, can they have a can they play Gates of Blaze and have a blocker? They cannot. They can just have like some blockers, but nothing nothing in the air. Tapped out. All right, GG. Okay. Now we get this clutch uh, arena reset that we've been needing. Yeah, definitely need to res reset that client. Absolutely. All right, four and one, final boss time. We have gotten to the final boss in all four leagues today. Been a really, really good, successful day. All right, where's our final boss music time? Dun, 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 dun. Keep this on the play. Yeah, four final bosses today. Been a real good day. Of course, if, if y'all um, missed any of the earlier decks, which we had some real sweet decks today. If you missed any of them, make sure you, you watch the replays on the YouTube channel here after, uh, after this one. You can, all the other decks are are already up, ready to go. Bleh. 
So it certainly seems like is a Drake's. Um, I'm not sure what card I want to play on turn four here. Shall I, Karn, or Weatherlight? Honestly, not sure. I guess it's just Karn. Just kind of play for the long game. It's annoying. Um, I don't know my average win rate, honestly. I don't know. Land, please. Ugh, no land. Man, I really need land, Vivian. I mean, Weatherlight's like the only thing that blocks a Crackling Drake very well. This thing kind of blocks a Crackling Drake. Yeah, had a, had a good day, Hogs. Bant Angels uh, felt pretty good. We, we lost to Esper Control with that one. Um, but besides that, did real well. Uh, I don't think Helm of the Host is a good card for standard. I wouldn't recommend it. Rada. Grand Warlord Rada on schedule. Our creatures are going to die to a dive down. Just kind of how it is. If our opponent wants to dive down, they can. Alright, shock's good. We get to kill the Drake. Also with the shock, that's good. No dive down. Yeah, I think Mardu Control can be good. Um, you know, you have the Mardu Control has the best sweeper in the format with uh, with Kai's Wrath. So, yeah, as long as you have enough card advantage, which is kind of the tough part with Mardu Control. I have been liking uh, Theater Theater of Horrors and Angrath, and of course Karn. They went no attacks. Just none. I would love to trade here. I gotta assume they found a dive down, right? That's what I'm, I'm assuming they found a dive down. Yep. So Weatherlight can block a Crackling Drake. 
Vivian Reed just kind of, you know, like if they have any, if they have a spell pierce or a dive down, they get us with the Vivian Reed. Please can't, please not be able to kill the Weatherlight. But it looks like we're going to have to play the Vivian Reed into their stuff next turn. So I'd like to draw a land so we don't don't at least lose to spell pierce. Okay, so at least we don't we're not gonna lose the spell pierce, but dive down gets us. Hey, boot to the head with that resub for the thirtieth month. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? I'm pretty shocked that they had dive down. Honestly, I, I'm kind of surprised they didn't just attack with the like into the weather light with having dive down. You know, just you know, it was a real safe attack there. All right, it's actually moved down to 122 here though. Sub number 11 on the day. Thank you so much, Boot. Yeah, it's been it's been a minute. All right, the blasts are good. Um, coils are great. This is definitely an Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup. Um, Weatherlight's kind of... It's kind of rough. Like, it does tussle a little bit with the Drakes. But not... Yeah, I mean, it, it tussles just fine. Alright, so we're taking out Squee and Huatli and... A Tristani. This is going to be tough. We're going to have to win two in a row here. Oh, the night's been awesome. Um, been playing fun decks and doing well. Uh, as you can tell up here by the record, we have played the final boss against the final boss all four times. Two and one so far. I don't like this on the play. Well, hmm. 26 lands. We draw a land... Let's, let's try it out. Draw a land. Captain Landry Storm gets us treasures. This is pretty risky, though. But we're a 26 land deck. Hopefully our first two draws, one of them is a land. After only having two here. Come on, deck. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, deck. Perfect. Now, treasure time. That was all you, boot. That sub luck right there. You had before. Asking for the one time. That was all you. Alright, and Landry Storm's not getting shocked either. We're going to be able to Tristani this next turn. Which I think Tristani is better than anything else. I, I could Vivian. I guess I could Vivian kill the Enigma Drake. They haven't seemed like they have a shock. Just Vivian kill the Enigma Drake. They haven't seen like they have shock because they haven't they haven't shocked either of our things. I didn't lift. Sometimes restoration. The Terminator only attacks for one. Isn't killing the Vivian. 
And now Vivian can take up and find lands, though. Like, that's the big thing, is we can hit some more land drops now with we're getting Vivian's started. help. Balance comes. Um... So playing that pre-combat because of Shauna. And I would rather that get countered than Tristani, I think. I think. Next turn, this Shauna is going to be really big. So if we play Tristani, Tristani gives it plus one. So that makes it th three. And then three creatures, so that makes it six. So it'll be a six-six. With that and the Lannery Storm, we're actually attacking for 10 next turn. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. Potentially. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Oh, right, Captain Lantern Storm gets plus one also, so we're actually attacking for 11. All right, game three. So, Disdainful Stroke is an annoyance. Captain Lantern Storm really did you know really want us that game you know like those treasures to be able to play vivian uh and you know is getting a lot of damage also like captain lannerstorm did so much that game that card's like you know it's usually pretty good um a lot of times like it'll pick off like uh planeswalkers and things like that Yeah, I honestly think this deck has a, a good amount of potential, um, especially because of Urza's Ruinous Blast uh, being so good against Soltai. Um, hey, Nero. Yeah, the third land at right at the right time. Yep, that's that's what we needed. We needed that third land for the uh, for the Lannery Storm, and we got there. We're on the draw here with our 26 land deck, so we even get we get three draw steps before our turn three this time. The problem with this Temple Garden Mountain Hand, though, is we can't actually cast Amara on turn two right now. My favorite angel card ever. Um, oh my gosh. And sometimes the deck just does this to you. That's a good question. Which I don't... I don't know. Bangarang! Uh, maybe Sigarda. Crap. Every problem has a solution. Let's start so by this is a perfect time to be able to play Captain Lantern Storm because they don't have the mana up for a shock. Blade. Well, 
Let's see what the wind blows in. 26 land deck, what are you doing to me? I mean, I probably could have just mulliganed that. I guess. You know, we were on the draw. So yeah, we got to draw like three cards before. Where like half half of our deck was lands, and so we had to just hit like a, you know, one half on like a one for we had to hit a one for two. Out of three coin, like we had to hit one of the three coin flips to have the the third turn, and then even still, our opponent had a, a a slow hand, so we just had to hit the coin flip on the fourth or the fifth or the sixth or the seventh, and we didn't. Seven turns there, no lands. So, you know. Bunch of coin flips. Didn't hit a single one. I uh, still really like the deck, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to play this deck again. Um, yeah, I'd recommend trying it out if you want something. You want something different. Um, the Squee, Squee the Immortal hasn't been necessarily the best. Hey, Mike the Mailman. Thanks for that sub there. And maybe that could be, maybe that could just be a, um, maybe like another Amara. I feel like I'd want, I kind of want another two drop with a deck. Maybe I just play some main deck Lava Coil. I tried, yeah, what if I just have like one Lava Coil main over a Squee? That honestly may be good. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I think I like that. Um, I tried Mox Amber a whole lot with this deck. Uh, I originally had Mox Amber with it uh, before. And there are times, certainly there are times where Mox Amber uh, is impressive. But there are more times uh, where it just does zero. And it's just a dead card in your hand. Um, dig your content in this Naya Legends build is pretty neat. Give up the good work, man. Thanks, Mike. Uh, emulating, yeah, Jaya's Emulating Inferno would be OP if it wasn't a legendary sorcery. Um, but that's another card that I had in the deck originally also was Emulating Inferno. Um, but I ended up cutting it. So, yeah, let's actually try a Lava Coil here as just a removal spell to kind of play early, like something else to do early while we're doing this kind of stuff. Squeeze the kind of card that you never want to see a second, and even the first. The best thing that Squee does is the opponent just ignores Squee and leaves it on the battlefield. And so since it's on the battlefield, you get to cast your Urza's Ruinous Blast or Kamal's Druidic Vow. Like that's honestly the best thing that Squee does. So let's just play one and one Lava Coil. I think that's an, an upgrade. Cool. So there we go. All right. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.